This video shows how to solve uh, your Angular routing. When you have a route here, you, I have here two links, but they don't work. So one is here, uh, read and list, you see this one, but nothing happens. I know the result should be there, but it doesn't work. So how, is, how does root, routing work? In your Angular app, you have the app modules.ts in there. You need this app routing module. Uh, and you have to take it from here. Import app routing module dot app routing module. Then uh, from there, you need uh, here this routing routing file. So this is, I will show it in here. It is app routing modules. So that's the second one. In there, it's quite easy. You have to add your here your elements here under const roots, roots equals, and then there's an array. You always say open bracket, closing bracket. First block is the path. So it's listening on the path. It's listening on the front slash. It's listening on edit or on read. You see always it's listening on this one. And as soon as it matches, it opens the edit at uh, the component. The com component is here in where, wherever you are here in your component, the TS file. You find, uh, where is it? Here, uh, here. That's the name, export class. That's the name of that component. So we are here. Uh, it's here. It says, okay, add, go to, if you, your edit matches, go to open the edit match. So, but it still doesn't work. So here is NGM module. That's always the same. This one is the same. This one is the same. Open, drag and drop all that stuff. Simply edit your roots in there. And there's also wildcard allowed and so on. If you have this one, uh, then you have, uh, this is the, where it sho should go to. And then we have here, that's the output. Uh, that's my app component. So we have here the app module, then we have the main page. That's the, let's say, main page or app component. And the only thing what is missing, and that's uh, something critical, the only position what is missing is you have to say where it should go to. So you always have a light layout or main or, or something around. You need something like this. Uh, a router outlet and as soon as you drop this in your code you will see when you type root read then it it throws the result from your component in there so when I push this one it roots the element on there so when I click list you see it takes the list on there it lo always loads the page inside that block that's a great tool so all what missing what was was missing was this root outlet so you also do something like you make a second root uh, second outlet here or left pane right pane so you may drop all the components onto that um, target panels but uh, that's the trick that you go here modules define the path and in app module you need this app routing module and that's it that's the names of that stuff and find a container where you uh, throw it to.